So some of the, the most important discoveries are, are made because you set out to do one thing, but in the lab you discover something completely unanticipated. There's an element of serendipity, but it's the, the right type of, of scientist that knows that uh, that serendipity that ultimately leads to a big discovery. You know, I often think that if, if we can plan out a project and it works exactly as planned, that's a really kind of boring outcome. Uh, we're looking oftentimes for those things that are unexpected. Sometimes we find dead ends and we, and we move on from them and that, that gets us into um, new measurements and, and new experiments that we never would have anticipated. Science to me is like a, the door that once opened leads to new challenges and it's never really finished. Over the past few years we have worked at the boundaries of several different traditional fields. These fields are useful constructs when you are seeking education, but when you're doing research I think the boundaries between them become very fuzzy and we don't stop a project just because we feel like we might have crossed one of those boundaries. We just keep pushing and let the science take us where it takes us. Northwestern has had and continues to have a interdisciplinary culture. That's uncommon at a lot of places. Here at Northwestern it's natural. Northwestern is particularly good in research that is at the boundaries of, of multiple fields and that goes all the way to our students who are fearless. I encourage the students to go out and explore. I, I think that that's one of the great things about being at the university. You, you go out and explore new territory. You have to be able to talk to someone with a different expertise and find common ground. And our students don't shy away from that challenge. Things aren't always going to work out the way you expect them to. But you need to uh, pay attention and uh, you know, consider what you discover along the way and, and figure out your path forward from those discoveries. And when you attract really smart people, really creative people, and you work as a team, uh, good things usually happen.